Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to create, edit and share snapshots in Go High Level. Now, before we get started with this particular video, make sure to check out the first link in the description. We actually give you a free trial, a seven to 14 days free trial with Go High Level. So you can check it out, the first link in the description. That way you can follow along with our tutorial. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we are posting a lot of videos around Go High Level and other, uh, you know, technical stuff and tutorials as well. So let's get started. So obviously the first thing that we need is uh, we need to adjust the workflows, the sites, the funnels, everything that we have in uh, a uh, in a sub account, right? So when we're creating a snapshot, we need to have a sub account. Within that sub account, we need to adjust everything, everything so that we can basically go and create a snapshot. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to switch to a sub account. So here we have Gold's Gym sub account. And as you can see right here, we can go to marketing automation, we can go to sites, uh, and we need to make sure that we have everything right here so that we can go and save the snapshot. So, you know, workflows, sites, funnels, um, it can be, you know, calendars, custom fields, um, you know, pipelines, pretty much everything you need, uh, you know, in a snapshot. So basically right here, you can see the WordPress, you can see the memberships, forms, uh, make sure you have all that set up right here. Make sure everything is uh, edited as well. As you can see, if I go here to edit, make sure you have all this and make sure that is in here. Now, once you have that right here, what you can do is you can switch to agency view. Now from agency view, uh, what we need to do is, as you can see, we have a sub account. So we know that we saved everything in Gold's Gym. So based on Gold's Gym, which is our uh, client sub account, we can create a, uh, a snapshot, right? So what we can do here is we can basically switch to a sub account. We already did that to Gold's Gym. Now, next up is we're going to go to settings. Now from settings, <clears throat> as you can see, we have a couple of settings right here. Obviously, company, team, billing, uh, you can do a lot of different things, but we want snapshot. So let's go to snapshot. And uh, also, what I forgot to tell you is when you're creating, uh, you know, a sub account or uh, not a sub account, but snapshot, sorry, you will need to go and switch to the agency view. So make sure to switch to the agency view. As you can see, if I go back here, I'm on my agency view. So I'm not in my sub account and I will show you why. Go to your settings from the agency view, go to snapshot and here from snapshot, as you can see, I already have a couple of snapshot uh, created, but I will delete them here. As you can see, I'll basically delete them right here. And as you can see here, what I can do is I can create a new snapshot. Now from here, I can enter the name of the snapshot. Let's say golds, let's say gym snapshot, right? I can go to the account and I can select the account that I want to use. Now the account that I want to use will be Gold's Gym. This is a sub account, right? A sub account that we used. And this is a sub account with everything in here. Workflows, sites and funnels, uh, you know, forms, um, you know, websites, anything we have, custom fields, pipelines, pretty much everything is in here. So just hit save. And uh, once you hit save, uh, you know, go high level with will fetch every single thing uh, to that snapshot. Now, as you can see, right now we have a snapshot, we have a snapshot name here. We also have a snapshot date as well here. And we have account name, which is Gold's Gym. Now, as you can see, we have a couple of options right here. Obviously, we can copy the snapshot ID. We can also edit snapshot ID as well. So if we want to edit snapshot, we can go here. And as you can see, we can edit the snapshots name. Now, what, what can we do if we want to edit the snapshot? So if you want to edit uh, your snapshot, you will need to go back to your, uh, back to your uh, basically uh, sub account. Then from your sub account, once uh, it loads up right here, I will need to wait just a little bit. Uh, and once it loads up, we'll need to go in here and edit basically workflow sites, pretty much anything that we want to go and that we want to update to the existing snapshot. So this is what we want to do. Okay, now that we are here in uh, Gold Gym, which is our sub account, 
Uh, remember, this is a sub account where we'll go and we will basically update everything. So as you can see here, let's say we want to update sites. What we can do here is we can update the sites. Let's say we want a new funnel. Okay, let's go to the template library and let's just select a, a funnel for this. So let's just hit continue. Okay, get this template. Now what we'll do is we'll basically have uh, another funnel right here. And let's say, okay, once we have that funnel right here, uh, what we can do is we can actually, let's say we want to delete this one as well. Okay, let's delete it here. Delete, yes, delete. Now what we can do after we delete that funnel, we can go back to the agency view here. And from the agency view, we can go to settings and then snapshots. And then we can go here and refresh the snapshot. This will refresh the snapshot and every single thing that we did uh, in the sub account that is called Gold's Gym will be saved to the gym snapshot. So as you can see right now, it's saved. Snapshot date, we also have snapshot date as well. As you can see, it's 4.50 right now, it's 51, but we made a changes in 4.50 p.m. So you can also see the changes that you have done uh, last. So also what you can do is you can uh, push update to linked accounts if you have linked accounts. You can edit the snapshot, which is just the name of the snapshot as I showed you previously. You can copy snapshot ID. Now you have a snapshot ID, which you can, I guess, share. And then you can go here and you can delete snapshot and create a new one. So obviously let's go and let's, let me show you how you can load up snapshots into other accounts. Uh, you can copy and paste them, or you can also update the snapshot as well, which I already showed you here. So go to share. Now, as you can see, we have a couple of shares. We have got a one-time share link. Uh, we have email share link. We have permanent link. We have agency restricted link. This is just for the agencies and then sub account restricted link, uh, which is just for the sub account. So obviously uh, the best thing would be to email a client or to get one time share link. I like permanent link as well because it stays permanently. So we can go here and get the link here. And uh, once we get the link here, as you can see, this is the link. So right now, if we go to that link right here, let me just show you that real quick. Um, you will see that uh, we are on the, as you can see right here, do you want to import the snapshot to this account? Yes, import now. And if I click import now, I will be able to go and uh, import the snapshot right here, as you can see. So this is exactly what your clients will also do when they are importing a snapshot. Uh, obviously, when you are sharing the link with a client, make sure your client is logged in into their agency. Uh, into their agency or sub account and then what you can do is just share uh, the link to that account to that snapshot then you know just share it, share it with them and then they will go here and paste the link and this is how it's going to look like now for me it looks like I have my snapshots which is my snapshot I also have imported snapshots here I can also edit these snapshots snapshot names I can delete the snapshot if I want right and I also have default snapshots here and shared snapshots. Now, obviously, this is basically a basic overview of how you can create a sub account, uh, how you can, you know, make sure you have everything customized in a sub account, uh, you know, how you can create from that sub account snapshot. Uh, also, you know, snapshot name, uh, how to edit, how to share the snapshot, loading snapshot in other accounts, I already show you that as well. And also updating the snapshot as well. So this is pretty much everything you need to know. Again, make sure that when you are creating a snapshot, you are in your sub account. Now, obviously, once you're in your sub account, once everything is done, then all you have to do is just go to settings on agency view, remember that, and then go to uh, sub uh, snapshots here. That's pretty much it. And then you create a new snapshot from your account, from your sub account. So that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, if you want a free trial, if you want to try this, with your own go high level uh, account, you can go down below first link in the description to check out, uh, you know, go high level. And if you want to go and get a free trial, then the free link is down in the description. Obviously, you can subscribe to our channel if you want more videos just like this, we are uploading five videos a day based on technical tutorials, uh, you know, applications, um, you know, streaming platforms, and so on. We are definitely packed when it comes to that. So 
Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope this video is useful to you and we'll see you in the next video.